All right, guys, welcome back to Plotty Strong. My name is Laureen. We're gonna work our glutes today using just the bands, okay? So I've got this Bela number five. Bela's not on the really tight side, so I can go to the number five. You also don't want to. You also want to make sure your band's not super small because if it's super small, it's gonna put give you less range of motion when you kick back. Okay, you're gonna put that band over the tops of your thighs here, just like this. If you have like a wall or foam roller or something, you're gonna grab it because I don't want you guys to be leaning over. I want you to be nice and upright. I'll kind of turn to the side here. You're gonna do a first uh, first version. You're gonna do is gonna be a hinged donkey kick back. So I'm gonna be hinged forwards. My leg is pressing back. I'm gonna feel my butt engage and I'm gonna bring it back in, okay? So that's the first thing we're gonna work on. It's just a little hinge donkey kick back. And so we're taking our time to open up the front of the hips. We're gonna take this into a fully standing donkey kick. So there's gonna be no hinge and that's gonna be a little bit harder. When you're in this position, my ab your abs are tight. My abs are tight and so should be yours. So should yours be, yours should also be, I don't know. And you're gonna keep your back from doing like this motion, right? We're not like chicken dancing, all right? We're gonna go back squeeze and in and you're going to try to keep your weight over center right so you're not leaning into the pole now in terms of the side of where your pole foam roller wall is it could be left side or right side usually the easier way is to actually have this on the other side so the same leg that's up that's the hand that'd be holding i like to challenge myself a little bit and i kind of just don't care because i can do it both ways so there you go you're going to feel your standing leg your le uh your left leg which is the standing leg for me working like crazy keep squeezing and press and press you're going to feel a little bit of that like i don't know the lower and outer glutes here on the right side your left standing glutes working you got a soft bend in your knee Ah, it took me forever to get started this morning. I just was like, I don't know. I like slow mornings and I used to not, I used to be like, I gotta do something as soon as I get up. But now, nope, took some time, drank my coffee and was like, you know what? I'll get to this video when I get to it. Abs are tight guys, keep pressing. Okay, three, two. Now you're gonna stand up tall, okay? And you're gonna keep that weight nice and balanced. I'm gonna move this over here to give me, make it a little bit easier for me. And you're gonna press straight back. So now I'm in a really tall standing position and I'm pressing my leg back, okay? So standing donkey work. I've got the band on the thighs. Um, just because for this first uh, video, it's, I wanna make it a little bit of the easier version. There is a harder version of this where you put the band on your foot to push it back. I also like that. Um, if you feel anything in your hips in a bad way, you're gonna kind of bend that uh, knee a little more, or if you do feel it a lot, you're gonna take that pole and you're gonna put it on the other side. So I do want you to play with your pole or your foam roller or your wall, right? You would just turn around if you're doing this against the wall and you're gonna press back. And I think that this side, I actually do like this a little bit better. Keep pushing and I want you to focus a little bit on the top booty, not just your bottom. So as you're pushing back, you're trying to focus on uh, that top booty as well, not just your bottom. Foot uh, is nice and pointed down. Check down and look at your knee. Make sure it's in line with your hip, right? The tendency is for the knee to go in or the foot to go out. So you really want to keep that good alignment here, okay? Keep going. So we're standing. Oopsie, that hip. I was hinging. Oopsies, don't hinge. Stand nice and tall. Press it back. Make sure you're standing tall. I totally like lost my focus there. Good. Keep going. 15 more seconds. So pushing back, standing nice and tall. Keep it going. We've got a standing clamshell coming up, okay? If you've got mirrors, check yourself out. Make sure your alignment is nice and good, that your chin is directly in center. Four, three, two. Now, you're gonna bend your left leg a little bit and you're gonna press your right leg out to the side and then back to center. And I'll kind of put this forwards here again so you guys can see better. And those are just extra bands I have just in case I wanted them. So pressing it out to the side and back to center. And out to the side, back to center. They're just all falling down. Good, and press. Good, and press. And my standing leg is gonna work like crazy here okay now we're gonna add a little bit of a kind of a a curtsy lunge i would say to this so let's just kind of keep going for a second three two now let's just add that curtsy to a clamshell so it's a curtsy lunge to a clamshell curtsy lunge to a clamshell you're gonna feel both booties working okay both thighs are working back and press and back and press and i love how all this feels so you're crossing that leg over going down and pressing up you still have 30 seconds here keep it going a little curtsy to an outer thigh if you're going to get your heart rate going a little bit and you can notice i'm still holding on because again i want to work on my form i've got mirrors in my studio i like to 
you know, look at my form, especially because I've got scoliosis. I really try to be super mindful. So some of you might be saying, oh, my standing leg is working more. Yes, that is true. Your standing leg might be working more. For this weight and this position, you're gonna probably feel your standing leg work as it's trying to stabilize as you press that leg weight. Three, two, now hold. Now set your right toes down. Okay, I'm gonna adjust myself here a little bit. And you're gonna take the leg forwards, out, down and around. You're gonna make these little circles, just kind of sweeping. Both sides of your legs are working. Try to stand nice and tall, taking it back, out and around, back, out and around. Keep going, 10 seconds this direction. We're gonna reverse, coming up, keep going. Up, out and around, everything is tight. My sides are tight, everything is working. I got a little itch, three, two, reverse. You're gonna feel your standing leg like crazy. Again, if you feel this in the hip in the wrong way, take the band off. You don't have to deal with the band. Good. Let's stand a little taller here. Keep going. Up, out and around. Up, out and around. Almost there, guys. 10 seconds. Really press that band out. Out and around. Bring it up, out and around. Five more seconds. We're going to do some standing inner thighs. Four, three, two, and then release. Okay. So now for the standing inner thighs, I'm going to have you guys take the band towards your ankles a little bit. You're gonna end up basically trying to cross your leg over so your right leg, that same leg that was just up, is gonna uh, come out from the side and sort of draw this little like half circle forwards, squeezing your inner thighs and then pressing it back out. Okay, so you're gonna bring that leg, cross it over as much as you can. I'm shaking here, okay? And then you're gonna bring it back out. Move out of the way there, okay? So bringing it forwards, your quad's gonna work here, your inner thigh, everything's working here. Be mindful that you're not doing like this, right? And then back out. All right, let's get that timer. Good. So you're gonna feel all these great muscles working here. It's easy to be sloppy here and to just kind of like move like this, right? We wanna really mm, squeeze that, hold it, bring it back out. Inner thighs, quads working, and you're gonna feel your butt, especially when you go back, right? Keep going. I love this. My um. My left inner thigh is working here. I can feel it shake, especially when I cross it over. Good, keep going and reach it. Good, and tap, and then reach. Tap, and then reach. Give me like an extra squeeze when I get there. Like I'm going, and then I'm like, uh, an extra one. Good, I really wanna get that whole thigh. Um, I always talk about this exercise that we do. It's a, a side statue on wheels. I can't totally remember the name, but it's like statue on wheels, but you're from the side and then you lift one leg up. That's what this aims to get. Now, ready? Press it, press it. First time that we're pulsing is on the inner thighs. Pulse, pulse, pulse. I love how this feels. We've got standing crab walks coming up. Okay, and I might add some variations to that. 15 more seconds. Don't give it up. Keep going and press. Abs are tight, shoulders back, good. We're not slouching over, we're standing tall. Five seconds, four, three, two. Little hold, three, two, Woo. and then release. All right, step that foot out. So usually at crab walk, we're like sticking our butt out and we're doing like this, right? For this one today, I want you to stand up really tall. I'm gonna get this out of the way here. And we're just gonna walk, like we're just gonna take a side step, okay? And then here. So it's like a really stiff leg kind of movement. Okay, and I, I kind of like this because what I've noticed on the reformer, there's this exercise called good morning where you press the reformer out and then you hinge to get the movement. I like that, but what I found is when I do standing outer thighs, I feel weak. And I think that's because I'm not really practicing my standing outer glute work with the bands off the reformer, right? And a lot of people are like, oh, but I don't have the machines at home. You don't need a machine at home to get strong. It's a bonus, that's for sure. I really did the reformer because of my back and I'm so happy I did it. It's a great way to correct the body, but um, it's always good to do stuff off the mat. Off the mat's actually harder than the reformers. The reformers just give you feedback. Doesn't this feel lovely, just this sidewalk? So you notice it feels really different, right? As you press out and then you bring it in, your standing leg has to really work. So as I'm pressing out, everything is working and then bringing it in. I'm just gonna go sidestep, good, and then bring it in and sidestep. So I was like, I just noticed how in a standing position, my glutes feel weak. In a, in a hinge position, they feel strong because I train them like that off, uh, off and on the machines, right? All right, keep going. Uh, we're gonna go for about another minute, guys. So this is the only time we're doing the standing crab walk. I just really wanna get this ingrained in us. Keep going. Then we got the standing inner thighs on the other side, okay? And I'll kind of turn this side so you can kind of see a side view. 
of the position. Toes are forwards, right? Hopefully I'm still in view of the camera. Maybe I just got out and I'm sorry if I did. Good, maybe I'll go this way instead. You've got the other mirror so you can technically still see me. Okay, standing, pressing. So there's no hinge of my hips. I'm just standing tall, pressing out, bringing it in. There's nothing fast about this. It's a nice controlled movement. I'm leaning with the heel, right? Keep going. We're gonna go for 25 more seconds. Oh, this is feeling so strong. Keep it going and then walking it back. I would usually take up the whole room, uh, but because I'm on the video, I can't do that because I'll, you'll not see me. Good, keep going. And then we're gonna switch sides. I love how this feels. I always like to take a moment as I go out, like feel the muscles engage. My legs are staying relatively straight, pressing out through those glutes. Good, little internal rotation, three, two. Now from here, guys, go back to your pull or whatever it is. And we're gonna do the inner thighs on your side. So go and take your left leg out to the side and then bring it back to a little circle, okay? So we're starting the other side here and then out to the side and then back in, okay? And my standing leg is working, everything is working. I'm actively squeezing through that line there, really pressing away, good. I was just in my back race, so I've got a lot of like lines from my shirt on me. I don't know if you could tell, but it just looks like I slept on a crinkly shirt. This is because my shirt does get crinkly under the back race. I know, fun stuff. Um, <laughs> keep going, squeeze. That was the other reason I kind of waited to do the video because I want to leave the brace on a little bit longer. And then squeeze out to the side, back to center. Press it, or really feel those thigh muscles working. Good, keep going. We've got that little pulse at the end of this and a little hold and then we've got those clamshells and then clamshell to the curtsy lunge, okay? So keep going. Notice my abs stay tight the whole time. My standing leg is working. Keep it going. I've got that little here and then like a little extra to squeeze those inner thighs back to center. So <laughs> after I record these videos, I'll usually go to the park and do them and I'm like, oh my God, they're so hard. They are really hard workouts. Now hold, little pulse and pulse, 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 get those inner thighs nice and toasty. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, guys. Up, up, four, three, two. Oh, I love that. And you're gonna press your leg out and we're gonna do those circles now. So up, out, down, around, both sides are working. My standing leg is super engaged here. Abs are in tight, keep it going. Let's see here, I gotta do some math in my head. It's about 55 seconds, so. We're gonna switch directions in about 10, all right? Keep it going. Up, out, and around, make those circles. Keep going, we're switching directions, coming up. Almost there, four, three, two, now reverse. Woo, you feel those glutes on fire. I love this, guys, it works both sides. Your standing leg is working. Your lifted leg is working. We've got those standing clamshells coming up, so keep moving through this. We've got about 12 seconds, give or take. Keep going, abs in tight. Try to pull my rib that likes to come out in, keep it in, keep going, four, three, two, and then release. All right, so now take that band, put it up above your thighs. We're gonna do that standing clamshell, okay? So you're gonna bend that knee, press that leg out, resist it in. Pressing it out, resisting in. So you're working through both glutes. I can feel my outer glutes working on both sides. Got a soft bend of that standing leg. A lot of people, I would say most people, almost everybody actually, when they stand on one leg, they'll kick their hip out and they're just scared of going on this side because when the leg is up, it's hard to do that. And I never thought I'd be able to do it, but I am doing it. I mean, obviously I'm holding on now because I really want to focus on the outer thigh burn. Now ready, we're going to add that little curtsy lunge. You're going to take that left leg back, lunge it down, and then it's a curtsy lunge out, straightening that standing leg, going back down and then out to the side. So I'm really working um the hips too like in all different planes of motion here right keep going and press loving that feeling and press and you want to press with the uh, knee a little bit back so that you're getting your glutes and your hips a little more versus forward because i don't really want the hip flexors to be taking over here keep it going and press keep it going and press you only have about 30 more seconds here well a little longer than that and then press, you're gonna feel how that standing leg really kicks in, it feels really good. 
and press and go down and press and go down. We've got that hinged donkey, uh, sorry, non-hinged donkey kickback coming up. You got 15 seconds here. You're really working your balance here. You can try to let go. Try a few without holding on. Going nice and deep into that lunge. Five more seconds here. Going down and up. Four, three, two. Now from here, you're gonna stand tall. I'm gonna hang on to this again, okay? And you're gonna press that left leg back. And I always like to look down because I find that I wanna veer off the over the standing leg. So kick it back and in. I'm gonna try to stand tall this time. I kind of forgot last time. So we're standing tall. We're working on our um, hip extension. So we're looking at opening the front of the hip here as we press back, right? And in and back. Okay, what tips can I give for, for food? I feel like I need to give some tips when I'm doing videos. So, you know, for me, I mean, I'm not always, I'm pretty lean most of, the, most of the time, but then there are certain times I'm like more lean. And what I usually do is I actually eat a little bit more, uh, more protein, a little more carbs for a couple of weeks um, to put on a little more muscle. And then what I do for two weeks is I, I don't cut out carbs ever, but I've definitely like, um, I definitely kind of cut back a little bit. Um, one of my favorite things to do when I'm busy is there's these markets here. Uh oh, I'm moving. Uh oh, I lost track of time. Hang on, let me think about this. I think we have 20 more seconds in the standing hinge. Um, and I like to get their prepared deli foods. And one of the things I really like to do is get a chicken salad, which I know you're like, oh, there's mayonnaise in that, but it's actually not that bad because you're not gonna, you don't like eat a ton. You eat like 25 grams of protein worth. Um, and so I like to do that. I love sourdough bread. Now let's just, I think we got a little more time here. I'm sorry guys if I'm a little bit off on the time here. Press it back um, with sourdough bread and then there, like a quinoa kale salad is usually pretty awesome. I don't like onions, but um, sometimes, you know, those chicken salads have it in there. And that's usually like a good dinner for like almost the whole week for me. Three, two, all right. Now from here, you're into the hinge version. So you're gonna press it back and forth. So you're kind of holding on that band with that standing leg. Um, so basically like for dinner, cause that's always like the hardest for me. I feel like I'm just done with the day, right? Actually breakfast is hard too, cause I'm working, but um, press back, squeeze, and then bring it in. Um, chicken salad sandwiches on sourdough bread. Oh my God, I get like a sourdough baguette, fresh one. I don't buy, I really don't buy bread that's been sitting on a shelf. I usually try to buy it fresh. That makes a big difference. And usually sourdough is pretty much the main bread I like to eat. Um, so I'll do that, I'll, you know, and then also when you buy it yourself, you can cut it as thin or thick as you like. Uh, just put the chicken salad in there. You can put some lettuce and tomato over it. And oh my gosh, it just really is so satiating. I put that little quinoa kale salad on the side. Sometimes it has beets in it, but I just, I go to like the grocery store, like a good one, and I I get their pre-made stuff um, because it's just easy. And I, I can tell when it's like, like the Whole Foods chicken salad is way too man easy. I will not do that. The one that I really like is this market in San Francisco called Gus. So I go there. Gus Community Market is really good for that. Good, keep going. I think we got 30 more seconds and press and really focus on the booty guys and push. So that's like a little tip, like when you are busy, but you don't want like a fully like restaurant-y or fast food meal. I find that the deli sections are kind of nice little mix and you can taste when they put too much mayo in it. I hate that. I have cut the chicken salad before with more chicken, like I'll get a rotisserie chicken. That's like another tip. I love getting a, a rotisserie chicken and just like, you know, putting that on my bread for sandwiches with some cheese, three, two, and then slowly release. Okay, that's a great little booty exercise, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. You're gonna hinge forwards. I just wanted to try something that was like standing and getting your heart rate up a little bit and just kind of hinge your hips side to side. If you like this, like, comment, subscribe, share. Um, I love being able to post these videos. I love all the comments. I know there's been asking for playlists and I don't know what is wrong with me. I'm just like, I just can't get it together. I gotta get it together and get you guys those playlists. They do take some time to put together, which is why I haven't done it. Good, and then slowly you're gonna roll your spine up one vertebra at a time. Anyways guys, awesome job.